Tonight on the Kianime Report, we get you up to speed on all the news you care about, as well as bring you this week's releases of anime, manga, and video games. Gumby returns for part two of our exclusive interview, and cosplay superstar Vampy drops by to give us a list of her faves. Also, we have happy holiday wishes from our favorite ill-tempered warrior, and we take a look at the new RPG from Studio Ghibli and Level 5. The Key Anime Report starts now! Welcome to another installment of our quaint little program. I'm Sheena, the world's foremost stealth assassin, and I'll be your host slash doombringer this evening. Let's get things started with this week's headlines and news. Sentai Filmworks has announced that it licensed Studio Ghibli's tearjerker, yes, I cried too, Grave of the Fireflies. Digital distribution will begin this winter and a digitally restored DVD release is planned for next year. Previously, both Central Park Media and ADV Films have released this highly praised adaptation of Akiyuki Nosaka's wartime novel in North America. Japanese record company EMI has commissioned Bleach author Tite Kubo to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Gorillaz by having him illustrate the band members for the Japanese release of their compilation album titled The Singles Collection 2001 through 2011. It should be noted that Bleach and Gorillaz launched in the spring of 2001 and Kubo states that the impact from the song Clint Eastwood still lingers on 10 years later and wishes them all the best for the next 10 years. Recently, Saikyo Jump Magazine announced that Naruto's Rock Lee will be getting his own animated series. This anime will be based on Kenji Taita's spin-off comedy manga called Rock Lee no Seishun Full Power Ninden. They really love the long names over there. So far, details are scarce, save for this picture of Rock Lee and Naruto celebrating the announcement in the magazine. U.S. presidential candidate Herman Cain admitted that he has been quoting lyrics from, get this, the Pokemon the Movie 2000 soundtrack throughout his campaign. During a speech in which he announced that he's suspending his campaign, he said, I believe these words came from the Pokemon movie. Life can be a challenge, but you and I can make a difference. There's a mission just for you and me. And I believe these words came from the Pokemon movie. Life can be a challenge. Life can seem impossible. Previously, Kane had quoted the same words but cited a poet. He had actually been paraphrasing the song The Power of One by Donna Summer and featured in the Pokemon 2000 film. I don't know if that gets some cool points or makes him really lame. If you still haven't shopped for the otaku you love yet, then take a look at this week's releases for some inspiration. Here's Otaku Livewire. First up in this week's anime releases, Bleach Season 11. Get ready to power up in Dragon Ball Z Level 1.2. There's tons of adventure in Kino's Journey, the complete collection. Get ready for some action with Icky Towson, the complete series. The Twelve Kingdoms Part 3, A Great Distance in the Wind, The Sky at Dawn, comes to Blu-ray. In manga, we begin with Arata the Legend, Volume 8. Code Geass Knight, Volume 5. Code Geass Queen, Volume 5. Kaon, Volume 4. Kakaishi, Volume 29. Spice and Wolf, Novel 5. And lastly, Triple X Holic. Volume 18. And finally in video games, Gears of War 3 ROM Shadow Expansion Pack comes exclusively to Xbox 360 as downloadable content. That's it for this week's Otaku Livewire. If you missed any releases, be sure to catch us on Facebook or YouTube. We have tons of manga hitting stores this week. So much, in fact, that we couldn't fit them all into this episode. 
but you can see the unabridged version of Otaku Livewire on our YouTube channel, so go online and subscribe. It's time to take a break, but don't go anywhere, we're just getting started. Coming up in the Key Anime Report, John Mizell gives us his take on Miyazaki's first flick and pick of the week. Dan Bull returns to bust some Assassin's Creed rhymes, plus Gumby reminisces about his time with Raiden. Stay tuned. Also known as Linda Lee, of course. Um, my favorite three animes are Berserk. Impressive. It's a monster. Claymore. Claymore. Humanity's sole defense against the hunger of the monstrous Yuma. And Evangelion. Because they're all twisted, sick, and pretty much full of gore, like I like them, so, yeah. Welcome back to the Key Anime Report. American fans of Japanese RPGs are in for a treat as it was recently confirmed that Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch, will be making its way to our shores next year. Here's our first look at the collaborative effort from Studio Ghibli and Level 5 that is sure to have you anxiously awaiting its release. This オリバーはさ、なんで旅をしてるの母さんを助けたいんだ。おお、どうかな。もっとちょうだい。帰られるのかな。見せても。I'm so hyped for that one. Artwork is beautiful as usual. Continuing with the epicity, when we saw that Dan Bull had released a new rep, we just had to share. This one is for all you assassins out there. Call it hardcore, but hardcore. I make killing an art form. Death's cold, taste sweet as cart door. No need to start wars for a difference of opinion. Give me the name of your antagonist, I'll stick him in the ribs. Because I'm an assassin, one with a passion. But we're not with the rapping, not with the fast. You're probably having a problem to follow the captions. I'm so ahead of my time, I'm probably rapping backwards. I'm a scholar of Latin, we're the masters in dispatching anybody that's hassling. One of my customers, I cut some up and jump them up in a casket. What you've got to do is ask, and then I'll have grabbed them and then stab them in the abdomen that minute and be finished with the killing before you finish with asking. A vertebrae would terminate as murder rate I'm serving plate to pain up like a perverse buffet Take it to the pearly gate, I'll impersonate a passerby You wouldn't bat an eye until your circulation's pacified So practiced I could account the crimes I perpetrated How many spines of vertebrates I've snapped My raps travel to sound and time reverberate Two generations permeate my serenade Regurgitated through a nerd rapper's recitation To your earthly playlist So I'd say this was a revelation 
revelation, a revelation, a revelation, a revelation, a revelation, a revelation. Another iPod edition. The holidays are approaching fast, and so a special guest dropped by and demanded that we let him spread some holiday cheer. And here he is. Greetings, humans. It's your tyrannical overlord, Prince Vegeta, here to wish you a happy holiday season. Wait, what? Uh, I thought this was supposed to be my big conquest of Earth announcement. Are you serious? I should blast you. Why would I wish them a happy anything when I want nothing more than to obliterate their miserable little existences? Well, it just seems like a huge oversight on your part. Where's my manager? Hey, Steve, how does this line up with the Vegeta brand? Did you really think that I was the right one for this? That's it. I'm killing your family. Happy holidays. Where the f*** is my check? The messed up thing is that that's about as nice as he gets. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to take another break, but if you change the channel, you'll make me sad. ついてはハリウッドスターがなりたい。ハリウッドスターがなりたい。ハリウッドスターがなりたい。ハリウッドスターがなりたい。ハリウッドスターがなりたい。ハリウッドスターがなりたい。ハリウッドスターがなりたい
Why do I like the Count of Cagliostro? Because it is filled with comedy, adventure, and just pure fun. It's like watching National Treasure with Raiders of the Lost Ark with Beverly Hills Cop thrown in with some lethal weapons. I'm not too old for it. You're not too old for it. And Danny Glover is not too old for it. You're getting too old for this shit. He's getting too old for this. But the most important thing about this movie and why you should add it to your collection is because it is the very first movie directed by Hayao Miyazaki. And you know, if you watch any of your favorite buddy cop movies, what's a buddy cop movie? Rush Hour, Blue Streak, Bad Boys with Will Smith and uh, Martin Lawrence. Police Academy is not really a buddy cop movie. Beverly Hills Cop, you got Lethal Weapon, you got Tom Hanks with that little doggy over there. What is that movie with Tom Hanks? I forgot. I'm John Mizell, and the Castle of Cagliostro is my pick of the week. <laughs> a few weeks ago, we introduced you to a living legend when we interviewed Gumby. Well, here's part two of our candid discussion with the Green Lump of Clay as he delves into his relationship with Raiden, his thoughts on Bobby Brown, and even being a father. Roll the tape. <laughs> Dude, you take care of yourself. <laughs> Tell Luke Kang years from now, let's make it sooner. Yeah, I know, it's been too long. Tell Luke Kang I said, hey, please. As a matter of fact, we met when I was a child. I didn't understand that he was a thunder god. It was a bit scary. I had just become into my phase of learning how to travel into books, and I, uh, someone left a hardback copy of Mortal Kombat. I was very frightened. It was, it was a little beyond my, you know, my understanding. But, you know, Lord Raiden understood I was just a little boy. He understood that I came from another realm. So he was totally understanding to me being made of clay. I had to run from Goro, but that's another that's story. Raiden's had my back for a long time. He's more like th the father I wish I could have had. He's a good man. What it is that motivates me is I'm actually uh, an expectant father to be. I'm expectant father to be, and I'm having a little boy. And uh, I think Gumby... Gumby is an example of how you should want your son to grow up and act. His people skills, his, his manners, I love you. He's a good, he's a role model. If you want your little boy to grow up and to be respectful to his elders and to speak kind to people, take an example from Gumby. He's a good hearted kid. I, I don't know about all that. Um, uh, I could say he took it from me, but I'll just let him have it because he wears it well. And Pokey cannot be here today, so I'm going to have my, my fellow actor, Rich, he's going to portray Pokey for us, and we're going to give you a demonstration. We're going to show you how we warm up, how we get our, get our, our communication going. We're going to demonstrate. Hey, Pokey. Sorry I wasn't able to come out. I got grounded again. I'm sorry. I know you told me not to, but I, I got another idea for you. There's a book I really want to go travel in. It's called The Lost Island. There's dinosaurs there. I want to take my camera there and film the dinosaurs. What do you think? What do you think, Pokey? Is that a good idea? You know Pokey talks, right? No. I know. We're silly. We'll be back right after this. ちょっと<笑>
That's it for this episode of the Key Anime Report. Make sure you drop by our Facebook page and give us a like so that you can keep up with all the latest anime junk, including full episodes and web exclusives like our brand new Key Unlimited series. Oh, and a big shout out to our 500th Facebook like, Jordan Davis, aka the Dragon Ripper. Yay! See you guys next week. I'm not going to. so badly. For you.